chill right now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love my hair tonight. I just wanted to come in here and show you guys my hair for real because my hair is fucking fabulous. <laughs> my hair is eating right now, okay? I try to do some like layers. I want it to be like more of like a curling. But y'all be here. Y'all so cute. Y'all so pretty. Look at y'all. You so pretty. Welcome back. It is Monday. We are back to the work week. Y'all know I love to enjoy me a nice glass of anything in a wine glass. I am a new dog mom, so I'm balancing my dog mommy life. I'm balancing my content creating life and school as well. And having all of that all in the same mix, very hectic but a good type of hectic. It's a good stress. It's going to be a year since I've been in Houston, Texas. Love my experience out here. I am so happy that I even came. Honestly, Houston has been everything. I know it may sound a little dramatic when people say stuff like that, like, oh, when I moved, my life completely changed, but it really does. And it's mainly a mental change, I wanna say. I wouldn't say too much of like a physical other than me just getting sexier every year because that's literally in my DNA. Other than that, uh, it's mainly just like the changes that you make mentally being so far away from your family. And as in for me, like growing up very sheltered, all the decisions that I made in my life prior to being in Houston was made by someone else. The stuff that we want to do in this life as young African girls, it's such the bare minimum. Like the stuff that our, our brothers and our male cousins and everything that they get to do, they're just living their life, literally. And no one says anything to them. As soon as an African babe steps out one time with her little skirts, her heels, her makeup done, popping out, oh, she's a bad gal. So as African girls, young African women, we are navigating through this life through a lens that not a lot of our aunties, not a lot of our you know mothers and older cousins have gotten to live. And it is okay to experience life. And I say that in a way like obviously being mindful of your values, things that you will and will not do, things that you know like, okay, this is who I am and this is not who I am. Navigating life with a sense of like self-awareness, knowing your morals and your godly values. So keeping that at the top of the list at all times. But everything else under that, like moving out of state to go start fresh and you know, that's not a bad thing. I personally think that is a good thing that you can experience new environments. It helps you grow, it helps you learn, it expands your mindset. So like, do it, like, do it. My platform in general is mainly for the black diaspora, the daughters of the black diaspora. We go through so much and we never really got the chance to be kids and live our lives and just like enjoy our youth. You are a black young man watching my platform. Hello, I hope that this is going to be a time for you to see a perspective of black women and black daughters that we didn't really get to experience that you guys got to experience. It's literally just as simple as living. At a point in time, we gotta take it for ourselves and be like, listen, I mean, I am worthy of living a regular, regular life. I am worthy of living a fancy life, a adventurous life, whatever that life may be. Like we get structured and told what to do all the time. We get told that we can't be this, we can't do that. And we never really get told what we can do. For black boys, it's just limitless. Like 
you guys can do any and everything and the support is also there we all know the love that black moms have for their black sons so where's our support like where is the tribe behind us where is the person that loves to uplift the black daughters i'm here to uplift you i hope you're here to uplift me we are educated we are smart we are talented we are artistic we're just we're the blueprint period for any and everybody so power to us stay motivated so here's my little uh tumorask tumor oh my god what is a tumorask oh my goodness okay this is the turmeric mask that i use i made this turmeric mask like i want to say like i don't even remember honestly i don't remember how long ago i made it but it's time for me to make a new one i get questions about my skincare routine and my ab workout and i tell you guys i promise i'm not trying to like gatekeep because i know i've been taking my time but it's because i want to see if it actually works before i tell people to go do this because it's a little embarrassing like if I go tell people like, yeah, like this is what I do and it don't even really be hit it for real, like don't hit for nothing, no. And also consistency is key. But I wanna show you guys, I guess, how I'm gonna be preserving my hair when I go to sleep to keep this hairstyle. I probably won't really like do too much with the bang because I could always touch this up with a curling iron or a flat iron in the morning. But um, yeah, let me put y'all down somewhere. I don't even know where to put you guys down. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Okay. This is like quite the angle. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, hello, hello. Who do we have on the mic? Hi, it's me, Scooby. I'm just wanting to talk about this wig that I have on in this clip right here on my night routine. Oh yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Let us know about so it. So first things first, I got it from Ali Pearl, but you can get a duplicate from my Amazon store friend. It is a five by five closure wig, and the, the length is 24. But I did cut it to make some layers, and I cut the ends too, because I wanted it to be a full blunt cut, because I love my hair to look full. Okay, yeah, for sure, for sure. Thank you for tuning in to Susie's radio. Make sure y'all go check out Susie's Amazon store friend. You yes, can also yes, get this wig you. from Ali yes. Pearl, so make sure you do that too. But if you're looking for a cheaper price, head over to Susie's. You're done. That's how I preserve my curls and make sure that they are not getting all mixed, messed up and stuff while I'm sleeping. Um, maybe I'll tomorrow I will film myself taking them down for you guys so you, you guys could also see that as well. Make sure I put that in my agenda. Long day. I'm gonna start editing on this vlog just so that I'm uh, trying to be ahead of the game. It is 9.27 right now, and I only had like two meals today. And it's supposed to be my bulking season. You see how I play too much? So right now I'm about to head to Target, and I have to obviously take these out. So I'm going to show you guys how it looks like and how, well, I'm showing you guys how it looks like now um when i fresh freshly take it down and then i'm gonna style it too like just like really quick so i can go to the store and look like a regular human being at the store i really think that i might just make this like my go-to style for this wig because honestly honestly speaking i really like this i really like this particular style on me and um i just think it suits me 
really well. So right now I'm just first I find this cone. The rest of this stuff okay. So first things first. Um I like to make sure that the top is flat because ain't nobody want no bumpy bumpy head. I hate when the top you all bumpy and stuff. So as you can see it starts it starts to kind of form the curtain a little bit but we're gonna go back in with our flat iron and shape it up some more. Oh that just went straight into my eyeballs. Now I take my first section of curtain bangs, grab my straightener, and I just kind of press and curve it a little bit just so that it could form that, you know, that little slant, that little dip right there. And I'm not curving it too far in. I'm like barely going hard, so. Like I said, this is mainly for the flip. We just want to get that part in. There we go. But I'm going to take this section right here and take my shears. I always find little areas in this way to kind of like I always find areas in this wig to kind of shape up almost every day. I'm not even gonna lie, cause I just like my hair to sit a certain way. And I like the bounce and the waves and everything. So it just has to be layered correctly, always. We're gonna get into this side. Look at these, y'all, these girls are. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, wait. Oh, see, this is why I wish I was both handy. Um, okay. This part usually gives me a run for my money because I do not know how to use my left hand like that. I wish I was one of those special people that could use both their left and their right hand. Oh, wow. That was totally ass. Um, let's try this one more time. We're gonna flick it to the back. Wow, it's giving me bumped ends rather than this. So we gonna keep we gonna keep trying. Let me try it this way. Oh my y'all, I'm struggling. Okay, I'm struggling right now. Oh my goodness. Listen, all of this just to be a babe at Target. Like what? Okay. There we go. I got it a little bit. I think I got it a little bit. Oh, so that's the little tree. Okay. Okay. So the hair is big, the hair is here, but this curtain is not curtaining. So y'all gonna watch me struggle for a second as we fix this, cause no way. Y'all, like, I feel so idiotic right now. Okay, let's see if this works. Is this the one? Please, be just be the one. Just be the one flip that gets it right for me, please. Okay, just a little turn. Slowly towards the back. <laughs> What is, ooh, you about to piss me off, bro. Do you realize that you about to piss me off? Okay, 
We're gonna get this though. So let's just a slight flip. And then towards the back. Okay, see? That's why it's good to be patient and take your time. Like, y'all always be rushing and that's why you don't get what you want in this, this life. Y'all be rushing. And y'all be getting angry before the time can really come when you take your time. And take your time, like. Y'all saw how I just took my time? And I didn't even get mad. It's not. It's not well. This actually didn't do what I needed to do. So I happy danced a little too soon. I take that Dougie back. I take that Dougie back. Yo, like look how much this side gives and then look at this side. And, um, okay, let's try this one more time. I'm looking for more bump here, if anything. <clears throat> oh, you have shocked me. I thought I was gonna have to cuss you again. Just to top everything off, I'm gonna put my little Vaseline on my lips for some moisture and, um, some lip gloss, of course. You can't go wrong with putting on some lip gloss. I like to double it, <laughs> okay? I really don't just wear one gloss. And lately I've been liking the light pink look on me and like shimmer. I got this shimmer lip gloss from the beauty supply store and it has been doing me wonders. It's like a light pink and it has shimmer. So that's exactly what I am looking for. <laughs> I love this hair this hair loves me anyways you guys that is how i pretty much style my hair um oh i'm missing one more touch actually i'm tripping volume hairspray as much as i love to do hair i'm still learning like my sprays and all that kind of stuff like, sometimes i just be doing anything what i like to do is i hold it up and i spray I'm gonna get the insides as well. All right, now we're gonna do the same to the other side. Ugh, I'm shaking in my mouth. Hmm. Okay, hold this up. Spray, get in the middle, the insides. I'm just kind of like shake it up what y'all think let me know if you guys let me know if y'all want a detailed video on this okay because there is some little details in this wig but yeah let me know because i would love to i technically have been doing this hairstyle for the past three days now so um i could say i finally mastered a routine Y'all know that I've been trying so hard to like get a nice blowout pin curl type of look. And I really do think that this is the best one I've done so far that I like to my liking. The rest of them were like super good, but there was like little minor hiccups. And like, I just couldn't like get past them. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna have to retry this again. One thing that definitely added the volume to this would definitely be the Revlon hairbrush tool, the four in one kit. Um, I have so many videos on it on my TikTok page and I have some on my um, Instagram page as well So you guys definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok That's where I'm like mostly active like the most every day and you know Just trying to build up our tribe our people our folks So if you want to see more like in detail about the Revlon brush head to my TikTok or my Instagram I'll put that somewhere on the screen, but you guys this, the Revlon brush is what really gave me like the volume, I would say. Revlon, y'all just gonna have to sponsor me because I've been talking about y'all for a week and I don't think anybody has been talking about y'all that much. I'm not even gonna lie. And look, look at this hair. Look at this. Revlon, you know I ate this up. Sponsor your girl. Let's go to Target. Um, looking cute. Oh, and just to let you guys know, I became a brand ambassador. Oh my God, hold on, I didn't even tell y'all. I became a brand ambassador for a lash company here in Houston, Texas. It's called Space City Lash Lab. Y'all need to go. She does an amazing job. All my lashes are still like good and intact. Of course, over time, some do fall, but like it has not been like 
OD at all. One thing I love about her work is that she definitely takes her time to see what the lashes would look like on you. So like, she would definitely let you know if the lashes that you're trying to go for will match your eyes. And that is so vital because I remember in the past I would get cat eye type of lashes and it would always droop at the end. It would like not open my eye up. It would make my eyes look like. Well, we're gonna try that again another time. And then the next time when I go there, she wants me to try color, y'all. Like, girl. physical other than me just getting sexier every year because that's literally in my DNA. 